but back here in Europe, Viktor Orban is facing renewed calls for his expulsion from the largest political grouping in the European Parliament. The European People's Party are also known in Brussels as the EPP, who have 12 members of the European Parliament. Now, the Hungarian Prime Minister and his Fidesz party are being sidelined after they launched an aggressive campaign for May's European elections that targets the current European Commission President, that's Jean-Claude Juncker, who he himself is actually a member of the centre-right group, the European People's Party. Well, let's get more on this story from Shona Murray, who's our Brussels correspondent, uh, based over there in Brussels. Good morning, uh, lovely to see you there. Now, it's no secret, Shona, that Viktor Orban has had long, tense relationships, uh, relations with uh, the European People's Party. There's a bit of a war of words going on right now between Brussels and Hungary. But what's tipped them over the edge this time? Why are certain, certain countries so frustrated they, they actually want to see him out of the party? Yes, well, I suppose you're right there, Maeve. We have to go back around nine years when uh, Viktor Orban first, I suppose, came to the negative attention of the EPP when he started imposing uh, anti-EU, anti-democratic policies in his own state. Uh, for example, he took ironclad control of, of the media, of the judiciary. He uh, was critical against gay people and, and migrants. And that escalated up until 2015 when he refused point blank to cooperate in any of the EU's policies in dealing with the migrant crisis. In fact, he did the opposite. He put up borders, he used derogatory language against refugees, Muslim refugees in particular. And now that's continued. In fact, he's been bolstered somewhat over the past couple of years because of the rise of anti-migrant, um, uh, anti-EU uh, parties in countries like Italy, for example. But we may have reached something of a tipping point now because, as you mentioned there, in his latest uh, tirade against the EU, he's personally targeted Jean-Claude Juncker, President of the European Commission, who's also a member of the EPP. He's basically um, started a new campaign in Hungary targeting Junkler and Junkler, using Junkler and Junkler's face all across billboards, saying that the EU is trying to impose pro-migrant policies on Hungary, which goes against Hungary's values and Hungary's interests. Well, the EPP, the EU, the European Commission is saying enough is enough. So we'll have to see what happens there. And they're not just saying enough is enough, they're actually trying to take action against what Jean-Claude Juncker himself called fake news. Tell us more about that. Exactly. So, well, while they say enough is enough, you know, there's been this sort of chatter for some time now. Uh, but what we've had in, in terms of an update is that we've had four parties within the EPP tabling a motion to expel Viktor Orban or his party Fidesz from the European People's Party. Now what's required is seven parties from five member states to start this conversation or you need the senior leaders of the EPP to have this conversation. Now the EPP have said they will discuss it in the ne their next meeting on March 20th um, but in the meantime the European Commission has issued a, a checklist going through all of the claims that Viktor Orban has made in his latest campaign such as the fact that he's trying to impose uh, migrants on Hungary, that he's trying to, that the EU is trying to uh, undermine borders. And they've gone through that to refute all of the claims that Viktor Orban has made. So we'll see where this goes. I think uh, there's a huge problem because the EPP is very influential and Fidesz has 12 MEPs within that. So if they were to remove Viktor Orban's party, then you would diminish the strength of the EPP. So the, there's a lot of play to go with this, Maeve, yet.